I needed a garbage bag. She told me don't use any of my garbage bags. So I went back to the room, on the phone now, trying to talk to my ride. She unplugs the Wi-Fi box. How, when your phone is off? I'm getting there, if she allows me to. Gee, let me, let me explain something to you. Because you can't control yourself, even here, because it's clear, when you watch this tape, you're unable to control yourself. That's what I get from your conduct here, mm -hmm. which suggests to me that it is unlikely that you were the victim mm -hmm. here. Because I see control here, but you have none. You're in a courtroom. I've already told you, don't shout out. I already told you, don't talk to him. You can't control yourself. He's controlled because nothing of his was damaged and nothing, he didn't, he wasn't in a hospital. His <laughs> eyes wasn't third degree burned. <laughs> nothing was wrong with him. That's why he's so calm, cool, and collected. Sometimes, what I'm telling you, it's not a calm, cool, and collected. Sometimes, Ms. Burwell, when there's an argument, irrespective of who starts it, mm -hmm. somebody gets the worst of the bargain. The police, report says that both of you were treated for exposure to bleach at the scene. Mm -hmm. You were taken to the hospital because mm -hmm. it got in your eyes. But it says in the police report that both he and you mm -hmm. were treated for bleach exposure. Because it was on his clothes. It says both he and you I were understand. treated for bleach exposure. I understand. Okay. Anyway, we're going to try to have you proceed, sir, now, uninterrupted. Okay. So, told you to leave. You wanted a garbage bag. She wouldn't give you a garbage bag to pack your clothes. Correct. You went to try to get a phone to get a ride. She unplugged the Wi modem box, so you yes. couldn't make a call. We're going to pick it up from there. I went back to her room to try to squeeze the remainder of my clothes in either both my suitcases or my book bag. And in that time, I owed her $20, so I paid her. I said, if you're not going to plug the Wi-Fi box back in, can I please have the $20 back for a cab? She agreed. Five minutes go by, she runs in the room, approaches me like another man, in my face, give me my money back or it's gonna be an issue. I said, plug in the Wi-Fi box and it's no problem. I'm not plugging it in. I'm not giving you the money. All right, so there was an argument, there was a stubbornness, there was a money. Okay, go ahead. She then says to her friend that was on the phone, people want to play with me like I'm a game. She goes to the kitchen. I hear cabinets, drawers. I don't know what she's coming back with. She comes back with the bleach, unscrewing it. My clothes is on her bed now. She's pouring it on my clothes and on her bed. That's when I stopped her and was tussling back and forth for the bleach, and that's how bleach got on both of us and her clothes as well. Okay. You've told me your version of the story. You've told me your version of the story. I actually think both of you behaved badly. I think she got fed up with supporting you. And when she got home from work, she was, in fact, working, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, and you were not working. No, ma'am. You were not then working, and she got fed up with her working, you not working, and... When she came in from work, she said to you, get me a hot chocolate. You weren't getting it fast enough because she thinks that she's the boss. Somebody who's working, bringing in the money, thinks they're the boss. That's what happened. And an ugly fight sort of ensued. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate. I can't say that bleach is usually a weapon of choice for women, but it has been my experience over the last 20 years here in this court that whenever there are bleached clothes, the one who bleaches the clothes is usually a woman. Men don't think that fast, mm -hmm. you know? They'll huff and they puff and they'll use their fists and they'll fight. This one does. But they, well, maybe. In any event, I think you both behaved badly. You're not living together anymore? No. No. Nope. No more. Your case is dismissed, so is your counterclaim. We're done. Thank you. Parties are excused and they step out. She's just too bossy, too snappy, and obviously. He was mad because. I didn't want to be with him anymore. I was planning on leaving anyway. She knew that, so that's why things went bad. No. He put it on his own clothes. That's what females do. Prove a point, I guess. I don't know. They bleach clothes.